going on YouTube family? We got the privilege of opening up some Lost Origins before set release, courtesy of Tom and Video Game Trader. Guys, make sure you check out those links down below for their TCG store. These won't be available till release on the 9th, so just keep that in mind, but they will be available, all the singles we're pulling here. And if you wanna get in on any of the pre-orders they have for the set, you guys can take advantage of that down there in the other link as well. The website link is where you can get the sealed product and the TCG link is where you can get all of the singles. So keep that in mind, guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe and comment this way you can get entered into the giveaways. And man, this is gonna be absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and get into this. This is gonna be fun. So the set looks absolutely crazy. There's so many fun character cards in the set. Time OC Dot, Horsey, Meditite, Vile Plume Reverse, and a Rhyperior. So as you guys know, there are plenty of character cards. You can hit big hitters in both slots. It's absolutely crazy. So this is this is gonna be a lot of fun. Meta channel. Let's go ahead and appreciate some of the art on here at first, and then we'll speed it up. Ducklet. What is this set without a Ducklet? Blipbug, Finian, Dotler, and a Comfy. So I'm just curious what this set is going to do to the standard meta because people were saying that the Giratina card was actually pretty playable. I don't know if that was hearsay or if it's true, but we'll see. Polywar, look at that artwork. Love the artwork in this new set. <laughs> look at this Shupit <laughs> sticking his tongue out. Blipug, Inke, Wurmple, Poliwag, and Landorus. Got the staff here at Video Game Trader trying to get the store open and ready for you guys to come in and get shopping. So keep that in mind as we go on with the video here. And I think they do have some uh, pre-release build and battle kits as well. If you guys are here for the weekend, I think they are still allowed to sell those. So you guys can still get in on the build and battle kits before release. Murkrow, Horsey, Maw Wild. That artwork is great. Shellos, Politoed, and an Hisuian Arcanine. So nothing yet. But, you know, hopes are high. Hopes are high. Let's go. Lately for the store, we've been getting some pretty crazy boxes. I haven't really had a box that we <clears throat> that we missed on Pokemon stuff yet, so. Riley Nuzleaf, DK. Wow, check out this basket one. He saw a really big shark or something. Phantom, very nice. A Palm and a Haunch Bro. So nothing yet in our character slot or our back slot. Um, we're on pack number six now, seven, and nothing yet. So we really need to start hitting on, oh wait, we got something in the character slot this time. An Orbeetle VMAX character card. That is a sick looking card. Take, just check out the detail on this. Eerie Beam and GMAX Wave. That is cool. All right, very, very nice. All right, so our first character hit is an Orbeetle VMAX. So I think the two best hits from the character slot, if, I, if, I, if I'm wrong, correct me, but I'm pretty sure it's the, um, the Charizard, the Leon's Charizard, and the Reds or Ashes uh, Pikachu VMAX. I think those are the two, um, two biggest hits from that slot. Um, and obviously, the Leon's Charizard, like long term, will probably be the most valuable, I would assume. Um, but that that Pikachu V Max character card looks really good. Damage Pump, Dotler. Let's see if we can get any gold here. Some really nice gold cards. That gold Giratina looks absolutely awesome. Pikachu and a Gudra. Hisui and Gudra. Gudra looks so sad. Sip and trip. I, I, when I read this quick, I thought it said slipping and tripping. I don't know why. I feel like that's what a lot of us do on the weekend. Also, everybody, don't forget Dominaria, for those of you guys that are Magic fans, is also coming out on the 9th. So make sure you guys check out those links down below. Give Video Game Trader a like as well. Uh, Tom's going to be doing some whatnot streams. Uh, those are also down in the description. Licky Licky and a... How do you say that? Hisuian Basculion? Oh my god. Basculion? Basculion? Basculion. Something like that. 
Um, they had a decent little turnout for their pre-release, um, but they did have quite a few kits available here over the weekend. Bronzor and a stone joiner. See, this is something that I thought was really cool that they did with some of the rares. And I honestly thought these were like amazing rares the first time I looked at them. But you see like this fog, like this rubber kind of look around it. It's really cool. Um, I thought that they were going to do that for the Radiant cards. Um, but that was not the case. Fire Envy. Menchow, Inscan, Carbink, Litwick. Oddish, Love Disc, Finian, Spinarak, Gengar character card. One of the favorites for myself here. Look at all the stuff going on in this. I don't know what this guy's doing. No, he's trying to make the fire bigger. I do it. Had to do a double take. This card. Uh, <laughs> disclaimer. <laughs> this looks a little wrong in a way. <laughs> Whoever did the artwork on this card. <laughs> and, oh, Curium VMAX. Very cool. All right, so our second VMAX and a Gengar character card. So very nice. Very, very nice. We're off to a solid start here. Remember, guys, these cards will be available come release day. Radiant Gardevoir. Speaking of Radiant cards, that one's really nice. But you know, it just the background. Actually, since they did like no, the the background itself is like not hollow foil. It's just the Gardevoir, and the background of the picture itself is not. That's very interesting. You got that diamond foil look to it. I like that. Very very nice. So our first Radiant card. And that Cramorant also had like that background as well, like that Stone Joiner did. All right, we're gonna speed up now just a little bit. We got Suyin Arcanine and the Spirit Tomb. So, so far, for those of you that played pre-release, who pulled some good stuff, and let me know what you feel like one of the strongest cards was in the set in terms of power. Buffalant. ooh, I didn't know they were doing those in reverse too. Check that out. So you got that little like color watermark there underneath with some of the cards. I wonder what was the reasoning for that. Like, I wonder what it means. Like, what was the significance of putting that at the bottom of the artwork? Like, what did it mean? I didn't, I didn't do enough research to know. So if you guys know what that means like that, um, just let me know if there's like a special, if there's that same card, we'll keep an eye out if we see a Buffalant without that. But let me know in the comments if that's something they just did randomly on specific cards or if it was something that had meaning behind it. Here we go. Energy. Fatina. Fantina. Riley. Nuzleaf. Zora. Gumi. Snover. Bronzor. Litwick. Are we getting a double hit pack? Magnazone V. Let's round this one out. So we've only had two regular V cards, which is good because... You obviously want the other hits to be V maxes or character cards. But so far, we are about halfway through the box. And we're on one, two, three, four, five, six hits. So we're still on pace for a 12 hit box, which is very nice. We haven't hit any secret rares yet. Shupit, Elikos, and a Hoopa. All right. Speaking of that Radiant Gardevoir, I forgot Gardevoir got some pack art love this time around. Metatite and a Mimikyu. Awesome artwork on the Mimikyu too, looking at the Pikachu can. It's like, oh, Mimikyu always wants to be Pikachu. All right, halfway through, <clears throat> six hits. Let's see if we can double it. Doubling it would be ideal for us here. Cresselia and a Buffalon. Okay, so this Buffalon does have the same marking. So I guess it is just on all the cards of that specific one, or of those specific numbers, and I don't know if it's got any significance, but. Fire Energy. Lickitung, look at Lickitung art in this one too. That's really good. It stands out a lot. And a Trevent. And then don't forget, we got the 
these spoiler cards or reveal cards that we are going, ooh, Roserade. Very nice artwork here. Poisonous Whip and Assassin's Rose for our next character card. So that's our third character card, uh, one of which was a VMAX. Um, we did get spoiled that we are gonna go back to like EX after this next Sword and Shield set because the Sword and Shield is going to be done with. I guess they're just getting, a, ooh, I think we got some Rainbow Love in the back or maybe a VMAX, one or the other. And Aerodactyl V-Star, check that out. So that same kind of stuff that's going on on all the bottom of the cards, you got that all throughout this Aerodactyl V-Star. Very, very nice. All right, so our first V-Star card, slide these up just a little bit. Let me get this all on camera. Polyworld looks like getting ready to do the Spirit Bomb. That's exactly what it looks like. I had to look at it a couple times. I'm trying to figure out what it looks like, and that was it. All right, come on. We want to see Leon's Charizard. Seal and an Enamorous V. Another solid pickup here. So our third regular V card. All right, we're still chugging right along here. We've got a lot of packs to go and we are already getting there on the hit count. Lost City and Parasect. Let's see here. All right, we got another black code. Let's see if we can get a hit in this pack. We've gotten a lot of just regular hollows out of the black codes again. So we're hitting a lot of duds out of those packs, but the character slot is bailing us out a little bit so far. Once you guys open the set too, you'll, you'll realize that the textured cards on these V-Stars in person just look so amazing. Like, we have Minshaw and Ariadus. Like, if you look at this real close, I'm gonna try to get it in the light for you guys. The texturing goes even all the way through the text box on these V-Stars this time. It looks so good. Uh, they have definitely stepped up when it came to card card quality and just artwork in general. The artwork of all these new sets has been absolutely awesome. Mr. Mime and a Basculin again. All right, we got five, got nine packs to go. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hits. So three more hits is kind of ideal where we want to be. Let's see if we can get there. Slugma, Trevenant, and a Dust Ox. Nothing there. Did anybody go to Worlds? I'm curious if anybody watching the channel plays competitively. There was the big Worlds in London uh, about a week ago. You had that, and then I think you had Collecticon. Oh, we got something here in the back. We got an Aerodactyl V-Star rainbow card. Check out the difference in the texturing on this compared to this. So they made it kind of like that wavy lost smoke look and this one they just went for like a very straight line look so that's really cool so back to back aerodactyl v-star um i don't know if this card's going to be playable or not let's see lost dive put the top three cards of your deck in the lost zone and then ancient star until pokemon leaves play it gains ability gains an ability that is affect your opponent pokemon v and play except Aerodactyl V-Star has no abilities. I, I don't know. I don't play enough of the game to really know if that's gonna, gonna be a big thing or not. But at least we did pull a secret rare out of this. And we still got packs to go here. Let's see if we can hit a couple more times in this character slot before the video is over. There's also that alternate art Aerodactyl. And if you guys haven't seen that, that thing is amazing too. All the alternate artworks in the set, for lack of a better word, slap. They're very nice. Carbank and Beautifly. We got five packs to go. Coming into the home stretch here. Guys, again, please, please, please make sure you check out. Ooh, we got the Snorlax character card. Very, very nice. My spirit animal just eats and sleeps. Unfazed Fat is the name of the ability. Prevent all effects of attacks your opponent's Pokemon done this turn. That's funny. <laughs> make sure you guys go down there in the links below drop them a like on facebook as well and don't forget to comment on this video radiant snazler and a rotom v so we're still getting the hits 
Hisuian Sneasler. I guess that's the the evolved form of Sneasel. Or evolved form of uh, Weavile, right? So our second Radiant card, Rotom. I think we are at our 12 mark already. Maybe a little bit more. And we got another black code, come on. We haven't seen a gold card yet. Will we see some gold? Polyrath and an Arezu Full Art Trainer. So this box is still hitting very good. Most of the female full art cards usually end up being the more expensive cards to get. Search your deck for up to three evolution Pokemon that don't have a rule box. Reveal them and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. I guess the rule box is like V star power and stuff. So it just has to be cards that don't have V star powers. I'm under that assumption at least. This box has been absolutely awesome. Um, a lot of very good sought after cards here. Got some, man, the Pikachu VMAX gold card. Oh my God. It just keeps getting better. So this was the Pikachu VMAX from Vivid Voltage. And now we're getting this black and gold treatment out of it. And this one looks a little off-centered uh, left to right, but man, check that out. This card is absolutely beautiful. This was like the the most hunted card during that like COVID era uh, when Vivid Voltage was out. I just remember how many people were popping packs trying to get this fat guy here. And we got one more pack. Can the box get any better? I mean, I, it's, I mean, we got a chance, all right, it's a white code, so we got a chance in the character slot. That's gonna be the only chance we got in this box. Anything else? We gonna get anything else to end it? Nope, Obama Snow and a Mick Hargo. But man, check this out. All right, so we got four V cards, Magazone Gudry, Enormous, and Rotom, two Radiant cards, Radiant Gardevoir, and Radiant Sneasler, Hisuian form, Rainbow Aerodactyl V, Three very beautiful character cards. The Gengar and the Snorlax are actually, I think, two of the more popular ones, two very popular Pokemon. Um, and Snorlax is just an all-time fan favorite, even for Pokemon Go players. And then Aerodactyl V-Star, Arizu, and Pikachu V-Max Gold, and <clears throat> our character or Beetle V-Max, which was also very, very cool. You see the bug catcher just chilling in the background. Very, very nice. So overall, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That was a 15 hit box. For those of you that are getting any of this product early and able to open it up, let me know what kind of hit rate you guys are getting out of this. Include all of your V-Star, your Radiant cards, and all of your character cards in that. And let me know down in the comments if you guys are having similar luck out of this. But Tom, thanks again for letting me open this. This was awesome. Guys, these cards are going to be available here at Video Game Trader starting on the 9th. So make sure you check that link down below so that if you want to get in on any of it at release day, you have the chance to do so. See you guys on the next one.